Today we are going to review a piece of artwork by Roti Miyade Kunle, a painting on canvas titled Celebration. I'd like to welcome you back to my art channel. This is my first uh, art review and I'm dedicating it to two people. A young friend of mine, Adekunle Rotimi, who died in his early 30s, but who has done fantastic piece of uh, work in arts. And to my father, a farmer and a carpenter, who used to decorate his furnitures with very beautiful panels. We will now go from here to the review for today. Roti Mi Adekunle is a young man from a village town called Ilara Moki in Ondo State. And you find that his village experience shaped his uh, artwork. Some art pieces like the market scene or celebrations. These are uh, experiences, of course, that are universal and global in art uh, language. But I could see how these things really modify this outlook towards uh, arts. I came across him in one of the exhibitions on campus where he exhibited uh, uh, a beautiful work on market scene. I remember, I still remember that scene very well. It's like you were situated inside the market and that the market was alive. And that got me really attracted to him. And uh, I talked to him at the exhibition and that's where we stuck up our friendship. After that, he came to meet me in my office uh, in the chemistry department and we became very good friends. And I began to look at his other works and also to patronize his art pieces and buy from him. This young man was a secondary school teacher. He was in charge of arts at the Federal Girls Secondary School in Akure. And he walked his way through university he maintained his job and at the same time he was a student at Obaka Miyawulo University Fine Art Department. He was so hardworking that he was on top of his class and graduated in first class in finance. And I, I, this was where I started to admire him. This young man who has to work to pay his fees uh, through school and then do so well. It's not very common uh, around here. Uh, uh, that is why I'm very happy to dedicate this review to him. It's very sad that he died in his prime. We'll talk about that later. Or maybe I can talk about that now. Uh, one day he came into my office and he said, Prof, he had graduated then. Immediately after his graduation, he said, Prof, suppose I have a car. I'll be able to move around more and I'll be able to sell my art pieces and make money. I said, yes, it's a good idea. A few months later, he rushed into my office to tell me that he already has his car. And uh, I was very happy. Later, he came to me. He said he was going out. I said, oh, I want to go to the bank too. He said, no, I, I will drive you in my car. So he drove me to the bank in his car. And uh, we came back. But the sad part of our relationship was that a few months later, I was sitting in my office and somebody came to tell me that Ruth Me is dead. How did that happen? I was told that he had a fiancée 
and you had already registered for the master's degree after his graduation for the master's degree in fine arts at Obafemi Naolo University. He will drive from Akure, where he teaches in the secondary school, he was in charge of the arts department, drive from there to attend lectures in the university here. It's a distance of about 100 kilometers. And on some of these trips, he will come along with his uh, fiance. It was on such trips, one of such trips, that he had an accident between Ondo and Dilefe and died. The fiancé survived. But the fond memories of him is everlasting in me uh, and is shaped by his works of art that I have around me, especially this particular one that we are reviewing today. Because Adekule is very good at exhibiting moves, dancing moves on canvas that many other people will not find it very easy uh, to do. Now to the review proper. This piece of painting on canvas by Ruti Bia Adekule uh, exhibits people are celebrating uh, and you all know that African society we are traditionally a celebratory society he has shown very powerfully in this painting on campus different groups or tribes of Nigerians who are dancing or beating the drum and if you look at this painting very closely, you will find that there are, there will have more than one group of people either beating the drum or dancing. Going to the colors that he has chosen, Hadekule Rotimi is very good at choosing relevant colors. For instance, if you look at this uh, drummer here, the red uh, clothing shows is from the Igbo tribe and the cap too. The dressing of this man shows that it's a Fulani Kum Ausaman. I even wondered why he has put this cowrie uh, on the neck of uh, this dancer because it's not common though people do use it who come from the northern part of Nigeria but it's more common to the southern part of Nigeria or to the middle belt and on my side here you have this dancing man here with the blue color and the white color the blue color usually is common with the Yoruba people uh, the people of my tribe and if you go into a Yoruba market, you will find more blue colored apparel than uh, any other color uh, uh, wear. So here, you also notice the uh, jingles that these dancers are wearing. And Ruti Miyadekuli is very good at uniting people by his work. Here, you notice he has an, uh, a, a man from the East, an evil man, playing a drum for an Ausa or Fulani man. And the same thing here, you see that these people here, beating the drum, are Yoruba people. And Igbo people are dancing to their music. So, his message is very clear. People like to celebrate together. And celebration brings uh, people together. You can't escape uh, uh, that conclusion when you look at Rotimi at Dekule. Even in life, you'll find that he's a kind of person who likes to unite people. That's my experience of him. To conclude, 
I want us to take a very close look at all the people that are dancing and all the people that are drumming and the wares, the calves, the wares by uh, the people that are celebrating. When you put all this together, you find that Adekunle has succeeded in mixing groups that are celebrating together, both in terms of what they wear, their traditional wear, and their traditional dance. I'm always uh, uh, excited when I look at the drummers who are from a different uh, tribe, and the people who are dancing to their music are from a completely different tribe. Uh, I think that is, for me, for him, it's quite an achievement. Every time I take a look at this painting again, I see how successful Rutimi Adekunle has been in bringing people together. Talking about the moves, look at this Yoruba man. I don't even know whether we can now pin him down as a Yoruba man, but as a Yoruba man with other vibes. The curves that this man is showing is not easy to show on canvas. Neither is it easy to show on canvas what this lady here is doing. And look at my Fulani or Hausa friend here and uh, my uh, friend from the East in beating his drum. And the, the vibe, the interest of the drummers uh, is well played out by the dancers themselves. I'm happy that I have this piece of work by Ruth Miyadekunle and I hope that you too will enjoy it. Ruth Miyadekunle's uh, final year project was selected as the best in his class and has since then been exhibited at the University Senate building up to today. You can still find this wonderful piece of uh, artwork there. If you like this uh, piece of artwork, you can bid for it and get in touch with me. Thank you for subscribing and viewing this review. I'll see you at the next video.